In this video, we'll show you how to operate the Thermoscientific 1500 Series A2 by a safety cabinet user interface. Notice the control icons that run across the bottom. When we press the icon to energize the light, notice that the white border will illuminate. Next, look at the fan icon. Touch it to turn on the fan and see that the border turns white as well. Here you'll see the receptacle icon. Remember that the 120 volt cabinet version also includes GFI protection for the internal receptacles. So if you cannot turn on the power from here, it may mean that the GFI has tripped and needs to be reset. The last control icon is for the UV germicidal light, which we address in a separate video. Watch the UV light video for this unit in our how to operate series to learn more about this function. Did you notice that when we turned on the fan, the display changed? The downflow and inflow icon went from off to not ready. After the fan has had enough time to establish the air flows, the not ready icon turns to ready and the average inflow and downflow velocities are displayed. If you want to see the overall system status, look at the green heart at the top of the screen. If you need more detail, touch the heart to see the total cabinet operating hours, UV hours, and filter hours. To return to the home screen, touch the X. To the left side of the display, you'll see the menu icon. To leave the menu, touch the return arrow at the top of the screen. Now you're at the home screen. Here you'll find the settings icon, which will allow you to adjust many of the cabinet functions. Through the display setting, you can adjust the brightness, language, units of measure, the date, and time. Through the alarm and alert setting, you can change the snooze time from one to 15 minutes, and finally, access areas that require administrator privileges. With proper access, factory setting adjustments can be made from here, and velocities and alarm can be altered by the field certifier. Now, go back to the home screen. Next, within the left menu icon, is the event log. Here, you'll find a list of alarms and alerts that have recently been activated with date and timestamps. This is helpful if an alarm was recently triggered and a service person needs to come fix the issue. Rather than trying to remember what happened when the alarm went off, you or the service technician can view the log to learn more about the issue. Under the event log, you'll see a data plate icon. When you touch the icon, you'll see information meant for a field certifier, including the model's velocity and measurement specifications. You'll also find the serial number and firmware versions. This brings us to the end of our video. We hope it has been helpful. For more information, please visit thermofisher.com forward slash BSC.